Hi sons and daughters, Julie here with Arden. Hey guys. We wanted to chat with you guys today about a subject that we were just having conversation about and yeah. felt like it would be a good thing to bring to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty honest and real conversation about some Instagram dating. Yeah. yeah, what it looks like to be getting into a relationship yeah. on Instagram. Which is funny that we even have to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Like you wouldn't think we would, but it's something true. Because I think for a lot of people, they don't know how to navigate that. Yeah, and it's not, no one has really navigated it before. Mm -hmm. So it's uncharted waters. Yeah. And so we want by just starting this conversation to help to kind of bring some things into the light. Because yeah. I think even as Christians, you wonder like, how am I supposed to use social media? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a, a mode of um, communication, just yeah. like anything else. Yeah. And so it's not that you have to avoid it or call it evil, Yeah. but just be aware of what it is mm -hmm. and what it's taking, yeah. your time, your energy, mm -hmm. your emotions. Yeah. Today in particular, we want to touch on the fact that Instagram and reality, they just don't line up. They don't line up. There's a lot in Instagram that looks like reality, mm -hmm. like any great lie. It has a bit of truth yep. to make it um, a, a lie. So, <laughs> still a lie. Still, still a lie. lie. <laughs> so, uh, touching on first is that everyone, everyone on Instagram is a fictional character. As you're scrolling through, I just want you to keep that in mind. Fictional, fictional, yeah. fictional. You're not seeing the full thing. <laughs> no. Yeah. At best, you're seeing snapshots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're seeing highlights of people's lives. Yeah. At worst, it's a total lie. Yeah. Um, and then you try to build something off of that. And you have to be careful because you can still build something on social media. Yeah. Uh, but you don't. You need to keep that in the back of your mind that it's, it's there's some, uh, there's some, no, it's a fictional character. Yeah. It's not full, the full story there. You have to intentionally be thinking that because what mm -hmm. happens is your subconscious takes over in a lot of these situations yeah. and starts to write a story yeah. because you're seeing things. You're mm -hmm. taking in information about these people that isn't the full picture. Yep. And this idea, I know men are very visual. Mm -hmm. So this idea as you're going through Instagram or people are friending you or yeah. direct messaging you mm -hmm. that there's always something better. Yep. I think this, honestly, and this is just my opinion, mm -hmm. I think this is one of the main reasons why we are seeing so much more singleness yeah. later than we ever have before yeah. in previous generations. Yeah. I think a lot of guys feel like they're settling. Yeah. Because they're like, well, I have this great girl and but yet then the next day i see a more attractive girl on social media and, and you're she like, pays oh, you attention or yeah. likes your picture yeah and you're like so then you're like i have a chance uh -huh. yeah you're like oh gosh and so then you feel like you're settling and then you have an unrealistic expectation and you fall in love with the person's looks rather than the person himself yeah because you don't know them no. you don't know them in reality and mm -hmm. you can't compare people in reality who you're interacting with yeah. face to face with these fictional characters that yeah. you're just seeing, that mm -hmm. you're just taking in information about, that you're not truly interacting with. Yeah, which is why it's important to get it from social media to real life as quick as possible. Yeah, even the like founders of Match.com will say, your relationship has the best chance of survival and yeah. success if you take it from social media into real reality yeah. as quickly as possible. So That's we're not good. saying it can't be done. No. We're saying it can't be done it's on Instagram alone. Yeah, it's a tool. You just gotta know how to use it right. Have yeah, realistic and, expectations. And even with that, there's that constant contact. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone messages you, yeah. sees that you're on, and yeah. expects you to respond, so respond yeah. right away. All times, yep. At and, all times. And there's this like hurt if uh -huh. you don't. Yeah. Even in friendships, yeah. there's this hurt if you don't get a response. Like. They didn't prioritize you. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I think about it and I joke because I'm like, if I was born in 1950s, I'd, I'd probably be married because it's so much easier. Um, but like when I was a young kid, like when my friends would call me, if I didn't answer, I didn't have a cell phone. It's like they weren't going to be like, why didn't you answer my phone call? Why yeah. didn't you answer my text message? It was just we had this understanding. It was not a constant contact and it, and it deepened our relationship because yeah. 
you don't have this like unhealthy expectation. Well, you you have patience. Yeah. There's a reason why patience is the first attribute of love. Exactly. It really is what brings um, depth mm -hmm. to a relationship. Yeah. Which is I love that, that like that time apart, especially mm -hmm. in the beginning? You yeah. have to have that separation to evaluate. Mm -hmm. How do I actually feel about this person? Yeah. Do I miss him? Yeah. Miss do I her? want to hang out with yeah. him again? Do I, want, yeah. do I want to see him again? Are they funny? Whatever. Yeah. And in that too, I know a lot of people are feeling like Instagram is being used to lead people on. Yeah. Just multiple people mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Because if you it, like a photo... You, you're in love with the girl. Yeah, it's a marriage proposal. Person, basically. <laughs> and yeah. the truth is, to be led on, you have to give someone the reins. Yeah, that's good. And that is so unhealthy mm -hmm. in those early stages, especially, yeah. to give people those reins over your energy, over yeah. your emotions, to let them lead you on. Mm -hmm. So you are, it says in Proverbs, guard your heart. You guard your heart. You know, people will talk about guys need to guard girls' heart. You need to guard your heart. Yeah. You need to be saying, no, I'm not going to let my mind go there. I'm not going to meditate on what this means or if they like me or if they don't like mm -hmm. me. Like, it's such, such a waste of energy. Yeah. And, you know, there's a reason it says it's the wellspring that mm -hmm. everything else comes from. Yeah. When you are feeling down over something, it trickles into every single area yep, exactly. of your life. Yeah. And in that, even on the flip side of that, mm -hmm. men or women, you know, everyone can do the leading on. Yeah. If you give them the reins. <laughs> if you give them the reins. That's is it. giving your words the same weight yeah. that you would give. <laughs> give is that like a funny rabbit? No, just seven minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. You have to be giving your words the same weight yeah. that you give them in reality. Yeah. And that's why it should like get away from text messaging, get away from the direct message, move to phone calls, in-person things, because things, you're not going to say things that you would over text message. No. And things are going to, they're going to read the body language, you're going to read tone of voice, you're going to see all those different things. And it's just... You're gonna have a much clearer understanding. Yeah. I mean, there's been times in my life where I've said something and people have taken it completely wrong, and I've instantly I've called them and I'm like, hey, that was not the way I I, I ever portrayed it that way. That was not my intent. That was not that, and it just clears things up right away. Yeah. There's so much left open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because, like I said before, there's not this language. Yeah. For what does it actually mean when you? You know, even emojis. Yeah. People mm -hmm. use them for such Gosh. different stuff. Yeah. It really is, it's about like your sphere of influence, your mm -hmm. sphere of people. You guys develop something amongst yourselves, yeah. but then you think everyone has the same mm -hmm. idea of what stuff means. Yeah. So we want to leave you guys so. with um, a scripture mm -hmm. in Philippians 4, it's 4 8, and it talks about. Keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real, yeah, honorable good. and admirable. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line with all of this is we're not trying to villainize Instagram, no. but you have to know the amount of energy and emotion that you are putting yeah. into this compared to your reality. Mm -hmm. The people who are around you, the potential spouses mm -hmm. that are around you. And you can't compare. You can't compare these people in reality with yeah. the fictional characters on Instagram. Yeah. So thanks so much, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And, you know, we want to keep this conversation going. Yeah. It's, um, it's just important because it's a part of your lives. So it matters. So, you know, comment below. Let us know anything else and topics along this line that you would like us to touch on or mm -hmm. you tell us what are the things that you find to be difficult. so weird yeah. and difficult uh -huh. about getting to know people in this way. Thanks.